we move on to the next segment our next speaker is from a company that needs no introduction and a brand that was launched in 2003 and is among the top three biscuit brands in india right now the number one in cream biscuits the secret recipe to itc success constant innovation in line with evolving consumer taste telling us more is a special address uh, is Ali Harris, the Shere Chief Operating Officer, Biscuits and Cakes Category, Foods Business Division, ITC Limited. We'll be talking about re-engineering brand Sunfeast 2.0 with consumer centricity, relevance, and purpose. I hand it over to Ali out here. Uh, Mr. Shere, over to you. Uh, thank you, Ravin. Uh, and I'm really glad to be on the platform uh, and share some of my experiences. Now, when I was thinking about, um, you know, what to speak on and what could interest uh, uh, you guys. Uh, I thought maybe I'll just tell a small story um, and I put a few slides uh, together to convey this story and tell you the thought behind uh, what you possibly would have seen uh, out in the market. So I'll just share uh, a presentation and then I'll start uh, talking about it. Okay. So basically I thought it's a marketing platform and let me talk about brands uh, and um, you know, uh, brands that matter. Uh, so the question in, in, in my mind was that, who are, what are those brands that actually matter? Uh, gone are the days possibly where, you know, the preferred brands, the trusted brands uh, actually are the brands uh, that matter. Uh, we possibly need to question uh, the relationship that a brand can build with its, with its consumers. And we, can, we should question how deep that relation possibly can go. And, and therefore we don't possibly need to create only or look for creating only uh, the trusted brands or the preferred brands, but we, we, we should as marketers wish to create love marks. Uh, and, and love marks will ensure that the relationship that the brands have with, with its consumers, uh, they, they are really, really uh, deep. And uh, for, for that, I thought I'll tell a story. And, uh, and the story that I wanted to tell you about uh, is a brand that we have in Sunfeast portfolio. It's one of, the, uh, few, one of the largest brands that we have in our portfolio. It's called Mom's Magic. Um, and it's a brand that was launched in 2014. Um, uh, and this brand operates, just to give you a little bit of a context about uh, the biscuits category. Uh, this this uh, brand operates, uh, of course, the biscuits category is one of the largest snacking categories uh, in India. It's in fact the largest snacking category. It's around 35,000 odd crores uh, annually. And the lar largest subcategory within biscuits is cookie. And, uh, and Mom's Magic is a cookie brand and it operates in that 30% of the total 35 crores biscuit market. Now it's a challenger brand. It's a brand that that uh, was not the first brand to, to get launched. Um, and uh, but when it was launched, it met with a lot of love. You know, it did reasonably well. It did, in fact, very well uh, in the first four years. Uh, and, and then it began to stagnate a little a uh, couple of years. And we see this happening. We, we see this happening uh, in many categories, especially uh, categories where products are not very differentiated. And biscuits, of course, is a category that is not where the products are not very differentiated. In fact, the the, the core products that sell at scale are not very, very different. A cookie generally is like a cookie, a Mari is like a Mari, or a cracker is like a cracker. So, so it needed a reset. It needed a reset for the growth to come back. Uh, and that task was very clear. Uh, and, and when, you know, when the team started to work around what could be the solution, what can revive the growth back, but what can really uh, put that fuel to uh, for growth as far as mom's magic is concerned. There was it, it, one had to really do a little bit of soul searching, and I think that's something that is required before you get onto any large initiative or a project that has to be that has a long term impli impli implications. And it's very important to ask these questions: where where are we? Uh, where do we want to go? What is the ambition? What is the end goal? And and what will take us there? Uh, and, and these are the questions that we that we asked. And uh, you know, one question that one one thing that became very important and relevant for us was that we need to have an idea at the core of what we do on Mom's Magic going forward. Uh, and and that idea becomes really critical 
also in cases where you know you are a smaller brand you have limited resources you might not be able to fight the leaders basis money but if you get a great idea if you get a strong idea it can really compete with any kind of resources that the leaders might have so the starting point is that you need to have an idea that has the potential to become big at the core of what you are looking at doing and this idea also helps you get the thought leadership in a category now it's it's difficult to get market leadership for smaller brands very quickly but if you get a good idea it gets you the thought leadership and thought leadership is the starting point to get to market leadership and you know that idea needs to also have legs for 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 your entry to become a symbol of revaluation for the consumer the consumer should be able to pick you by your idea and revaluate you versus others and should choose you over others because your idea is superior and they connect with your idea now now it's an important point that i'm making on this slide which is that if you are starting something afresh if you're creating something afresh which you do in marketing because you do a lot of innovations you do launch a lot of new products and therefore you start from the scratch and you can create a vision with a clean sheet of paper and you can write what you ideally want to achieve uh, at the end of it but when you are doing something on a brand or a product that already exists and something has already been created it's very important to look at fresh consistency which means that there are a lot of things that have that have been built and you need to see which one of those things you want to take forward which are the things that you want to sacrifice because sacrifice is also important you can't take everything forward so consistency is important but at the same time it's also very important to bring freshness because you need to come through as something new newer and therefore there is a there is a chance that you will be noticed out with your consumers so when we are looking for this this idea the answer was in front of us and the answer was in the brand which was mom's magic and it's a very very powerful idea because this this category is mainly bought by the mothers and brought into the house and then the entire family consumes it so mother was at the center of the brand and it's the at the center of the category so the idea of motherhood was very important to take forward but there was another element which was there in the brand but was not fully exploited or fully used which was the heart if you if you notice there is a heart in the mom's magic logo and the, the thought that came to the team was why don't we just take this thought of a heart which is the emotional angle of a mother and really explode it in, in every element of the mix and try and create that that difference that possibly the brand was looking for and that's exactly what the team did but when you look at this heart you know if you if you really want to juice the heart out you had to really ensure that it was on el all elements of the mix so the next thing that happened was that the first thing actually that happened was that we said we can't take this idea forward unless we are able to put it on all elements of our mix and and we needed to convert this idea into a tangible thought and tangibility was very important you have to give the consumer something that they can feel that they can hold they can talk about they can refer to and that becomes very easy then for it becomes very easy for the brands then to have a conversation and communication uh, with the consumers and the second point that i was making was it's very important that we comprehensively use the idea that we have uh, on on any brand so we we took this challenge and we said we have to get the heart on the cookie now it's not easy if you look at the cookies that exist they all have these ridges and and straight lines or possibly curved lines and nobody had ever done a motif which was as complicated as a heart because the baking process doesn't allow you so the team relentlessly worked on on this thought worked with all the vendors worked on the technology did multiple trials but we didn't give up the team was over committed to to deliver this this difference because this difference we knew would make the biggest difference uh, for the, for the brand and there was a lot of disruption that we done that was done uh, to get this larger difference so the point i'm making is that if you have an idea you have to ensure that it's brought into a tangible thought and that the tangible thought has to be applied to all elements comprehensively so that it can make a difference and of course it was a no brainer that you had to really ensure that the heart really came through 
as far as the packaging is concerned. So if you look at the old packaging, it just was in the O of mom's magic, but we really blew it up and, and brought it uh, alive. Now, this, this, was, this was difficult. The biscuit, biscuit making was very difficult, but we said, no, it, the idea is there, it has to go across. But there was a tangible element and it was, we knew it was powerful. And if we could get it on a product, it became further more powerful. But the whole idea then was that how do we really nourish that big idea? And how do we make that idea as the expression of mother's love? And that's something that exists. It's a very simple thought. And I think the beauty is in simplicity. You don't have to do things that are very complex. You actually need to do very simple things, but you need to give a handle to them and you need to connect back to your consumers. So what was the expression of mother's love? How do you define this mother became the second challenge because emotion was, was, was waiting to be exploited as far as this brand was concerned. And then we tried to understand the mother. Of course, I can't, I can't do justice to defining the mother, but, uh, but maybe a few lines. And you know, moms are the most loved and the most loving beings on the planet. And there is absolutely no doubt about that. And I'm sure each one of you will resonate with the thought. They're warm and caring, but firm when needed. And that's something that brings that dichotomy and polarization in the mother's personality. They're perceptive and they actually know when you actually need them. They always have the right words and they always have the right solutions if there are problems. Uh, now, they pick you up when you fall. They always inspire you to go forward. And moms, and therefore the moms, believe in the magic Every day, and we all know this. So this is this is no rocket science. It was very simple. It was all there. We just had to put it to define our consumers. But then we, we then we then we said, okay, this is this these insights are available. How do we really craft a brand idea that can be powerful, that can be edgy, that can really make a difference, and that can really get us that thought leadership? And we defined that idea internally as bombs are the warmest superpower. There is warmth, there is love, there is care, there's absolutely no doubt about it, but they also can and do make the difference because they don't give up, they ensure they win at the end of what they're trying to achieve. So this became our, uh, our brand thought and a brand idea, which is very important for any brand to have. And that brand thought needs to really motivate and inspire the team internally for uh, and the creative agencies, marketing agencies, for it to for them to take it to the next level. Now, now this this was the brand thought, but we wanted to build a point of view uh, about mothers, uh, and uh, and every mother needs to resonate with that point of view because everyone today has a point of view, and they reson resonate with with a brand that has a point of view. And the point of view that we came to for Mom's Magic was. Is dil ke aage sab ki haar hai. There was emotion in it, there was heart in it, and there was superpower in it. The superpower is when it defeats. If you have the superpower, is when you defeat everyone. So that became the point of view. And then we took the point of view forward. Now there's one more shift that we possibly did. And that shift was that we, we, uh, we took the idea of motherhood and we said, you need to expand the appeal of that idea. Because if you have a strong idea and you keep it very narrow and don't, don't connect with a larger audience, you're possibly wasting an opportunity. So it was very important for us to also expand the appeal of the brand through the expansion of the idea. And if you, if you, if you some of you would have seen some advertising of, of Sunfeast uh, of the past, in the last four or five years, we've become a small child and mother brand because the whole idea was that how this mother nourishes uh, their children. And we realized that it was restricting the brand a little bit. We needed to open it up for the appeal to go uh, 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 slightly wider. And we then decided to really look at the idea of motherhood and not, not necessarily the mother and the small child. And when I show you the ad, I hope I'll, it'll stream and you'll be able to see it. You will realize that we've taken the small child out, we've taken a grown up daughter, and we've looked at so we've also, while not intentionally so much, but the whole idea also moves beyond the family. And because a mother is a mother, you know, a mother is a mother to her own children and possibly also to some other people who she, who are important in her life. So, 
so the idea of the idea, this idea was then expanded to to get more people in so that the appeal of the brand can go up so i'll try and uh, play the video i hope it it does play and then i'll i'll talk about it a little more yeah sure so teen char ghante mein ho jayega sir yeah no problem i also problem hai aaj sunday hai और ना तुमने कुछ खाया है और ना अंजलि ने लगता है आज तुम भी अपनी माँ से डांटी खाओगे वो चलो चलो जल्दी से एक कप चाय और दो कुकीज खा लो अरे बेटा खाओगे नहीं तो काम कैसे करोगे पांच हो या बचपन माँ के दिल से कौन जीता है ऐसे ही दिल से बना है नया सनफीस्ट मॉम्स मैजिक इस दिल के आगे सब की हार है yeah so this was the main uh, communication that we played uh, and while while this was the ad that we played um, for any strategy or for any content uh, it becomes extremely critical how you execute it in fact sometimes some people say that execution is more important than the thought but i i would say there is a very good balance between strategy and uh, an execution and and therefore it became very important that if we had a big idea we had a lot of emotion we had a tangible element to communicate the idea how do we really make it reach uh, the wider audience and we use some really big platforms ipl was happening around that time uh, last year we did ipl we did a lot of surprise and intrigue building uh, initiatives whether it was outdoor tying up with a lot of retailers and and lot of other digital activations that we did around it you know it's also very important if you have a big idea then build a cause around it and something that can meaningfully make a difference in the lives lives of the consumers and we did an activation which was called as stay strong mom because uh, you know covid time moms were inside and they were really pressured on on time etc and they had to be uh, really encouraged inspired to go on and and we needed to celebrate them for the for the role that they were playing uh, for the last 18 odd months so there was a lot of work that happened there but and and we realized that you know if you have a big idea these ideas don't necessarily give you the kind of benefit overnight you have to continue to build them so that so that you really build every nuance that that you need to build over a period of time and therefore this journey uh, is still on you know as a, as a result we saw a big shift in the growth growth trajectory of the brand where the, where this category of cookies was actually degrowing uh, our brand almost grew by 20% after we did this whole rebranding repurposing product change packaging change of course we also made our product better which was superior to uh, superior as far as the market was concerned we saw a 30 30 to 40% increase Uh, in the brand health scores uh, for, for moms magic uh, you know we ensured that the market share of moms magic increased and and that that gave us a lot of confidence to put more resources uh, behind this idea uh, and 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 behind this thought so all in all uh, it was something that that really worked for us and i think the reason why it worked for us is because there was a strong idea we made it tangible we and that idea helped us get thought leadership it helped us reposition reimagine the category it it got nobody else had done in the category uh, we really put a lot of emotion behind that idea we got the right articulation as far as the mother is concerned we expanded the appeal uh, of the brand by expanding the horizons of the motherhood uh, as far as this idea is concerned and we really executed it with precision so that's precisely the story of mom's magic uh, and and you know it's not about mom's magic it's something that we are looking at doing um, so i'll i'll just unshare now uh, so that so that you can see me and we can have a chat uh, so it's not about mom's magic alone i mean we are trying to do this uh, for every single brand of ours so defining each brand right getting that idea right in each of the brands and then ensuring that you you explore that idea uh, is is something really critical uh, innovations play a very very critical role in 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 terms of connecting with that that core thought and innovations also get inspired by the thought that you have on the core brand so innovations are are making a lot of difference 
as far as Sun Feast is concerned, defining these brands, each one of them, whether it's Mom's Magic, whether it's Dark Fantasy, whether it's Mari Light, whether it's Bounce, whether it's so any of these brands are important. We're doing multiple innovations. We're doing a lot of uh, purpose-led activations that are getting Sun Feast uh, talk of, uh, bringing back the talkability and it's linked credibility because these are causes. Stay Strong Moms is one cause that I spoke about. Uh, you know, we are doing Sun Feast India Move as one as an initiative, and I think, uh, and I'm sure Exchange for Media is also a partner in, in that initiative where we're inspiring everyone to move, move for good, and the proceeds of that initiative is going to go uh, towards bringing smiles on the faces of the children. So it's a multitude of initiatives, but at the heart of it, at the heart of it is actually brands trying to make these brands as love marks. Each of these brands have a, do have a strong idea um, that can make a meaningful difference in the lives of our consumers. So that's all that I thought I'll share. If there are any questions, I'm happy to take. Right, uh, Ali, thank you so much uh, for that insightful uh, talk. I have some questions here. The first one is, can you elaborate on how brands can bring a fresh angle and also maintain their consistency at the same time? So uh, how is a so I, I tried to explain how, uh, which is that you have to introspect, you have to do soul searching, you have to go to the consumers and understand what is that element that is ticking for the consumers currently. So when you are refreshing, you don't give up on that. In fact, you strengthen that element, whether it's something on your packaging, whether it's on your product, whether it's something in advertising, it could be, it could be anything. And, and therefore, that consistency is extremely, extremely important. But while you meet, uh, stay with consistency, it's also very important to get freshness because the consumers are evolving. You know, they are looking for newer experiences. They are also getting exposed to newer, different brands, newer brands, modern outlook, a contemporary approach. And therefore, you have to move on. And, and therefore, you have to re sometimes you also have to reinterpret the elements that you want to stay with, but you, you, you have to reinterpret them in today's context, in, 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 in today's, uh, uh, the lives of today's consumers. Uh, COVID and lockdown, and therefore, the implications of that, and if you see, see the mom's magic advertising, it has been done in the context of work from home. The, the daughter is working from home. So you've brought that relevance at the same time, you've got the consistency in the heart, but you've brought freshness in the, in the way it's articulated. Right. Another thing that's really interesting, uh, Mr. Chere, is the, uh, the trends that are happening right now. So uh, it's a double-edged sword in the sense that, you know, uh, they can give you instant recognition if you follow a trend as a brand, but also it kind of fizzles down, uh, fizzles out, uh, just like, uh, you know, uh, the gas in a cold rig as such. So uh, it's not a long-term uh, solution. So how, how do you find the balance as a brand between these two? Uh, as, as a brand, it's very important for you to understand the long-term enduring trends, you know, and you know, there's a lot of debate that's happening. And, and you know, those trends, have happened and they've, they've continued. So there are multiple uh, uh, trends that are happening. Uh, you know, so you know, and, and I don't want to get into the trends while while of course one could talk about that, but that's not the idea. Uh, and you know, those trends will continue. However, there could be some shift for the time being, and you might want to you might have to reset uh, towards those sh uh, trends that are shifting a little bit. And COVID is, uh, it, uh, the pandemic is perhaps the perfect example. You know, there are a lot of uh, apparent shifts that are happening. But as soon as things open up, consumers go back to, uh, to, the, to the earlier uh, way of their attitudes and behavior. Uh, however, there's some trends that, that stay, like e-commerce. For example, if that started to go up, that has sustained and possibly will sustain. And this, this, this COVID has fueled that. So... It's very important for marketers to understand what is an enduring trend that is going to stay uh, and how do you want to participate in that trend and what is something that will, that will fizzle. Now, you can't put a long-term bet on a short-term trend. And that's where you know, your own judgment and acumen will uh, come into picture because some trends, it's very important also to recognize them and participate them. But participate them knowing that they are short-term, leverage them, move out. 
you know, there's no science to saying uh, which is a enduring trend and which is a short term trend. I mean, it's something that, you know, you get with experience and wisdom. Right, absolutely. Uh, another question that I have here, Ali, is uh, as a brand leader, your biggest learning in the last one year or precisely 17 months of the pandemic? Yeah, I, I, one of the leaders in our category, and I'm being honest about it, we are the challenger brand uh, in the biscuits category, the other brands who are, who are the leaders. Uh, now, I think the biggest learning is that uh, uh, that in times like these, which is which is say a pandemic or a disruption, there is a sense of going back to familiar. Yeah, and therefore, smaller brands, local brands, challenger brands can lose out if you are not salient because you have not been top of mind of your consumers. There are larger brands that have been top of mind and in a scenario where you are not, you are not, uh, uh, salient and you've not been communicating, connecting with your consumers, there's a possibility that you will drop out because the experimentation drops out uh, during these disruptive times. So it's very important for you to stay connected, stay salient so that when consumers think of the category, they have you in their mind. Right. So uh, that's all the time that we had for you, but it was an incredible session. Thank you so very much uh, for dropping those uh, gems of wisdom out there. I'm absolutely sure the audience enjoyed that. Thank you once again, uh, Mr. Sherry, for being with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much.